what we're doing tonight, we're going to take this in scale box car. This is a micro trains, I believe. And we're going to apply a matte medium to it before we put our powders on. This is a this is a flat clear. This is number 4636 Model Masters acrylic matte medium. Water wash up. So we're going to use this. I'm going to do, I'm going to paint half of this car with the matte medium, let it dry, and then I'm going to put the weathering powder on both sides so you, so we can see how it affects how the powder sticks. Okay. Got this all stirred up. clean brush I think I do better with a flatter brush but that's going on there and I'll get right back with you guys I put this matte medium on here the matte medium is on this side this side I just left alone. I've got this little tape on here so I know which side I did put matte medium on. So we're going to get started. Weathering powders are non-toxic. I've just got the gloves on because I don't want to get skin oil on, on something. I want, to get, I want it to be stay clean until I get the powder on there. Okay, we're going with light rust, light rust, and I've got a piece of paper down here to catch my excess. I'm going to finish up with this and get right back with you guys. This. This is the side without matte medium. This is the side with. Now this box card was not real glossy to start with. So it looks to me like it didn't make a whole, it didn't make it come on heavier but the areas where I put matte medium, it seemed to put, it seemed to be more consistent. Whereas here, you see where I dropped it and I blotted it some there to make it harder. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to put some black soot on this. Here we go. Okay, finish this up get, and I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Okay, here it is. This is the side where I put down matte finish first. There's the side where I didn't. 
it looks like the black is more consistent on the side that I used the matte medium on. I think with this car it really didn't make a whole lot of difference, but if you had something that was glossy, it might. Now, next, we're going to apply some dull coat to this. So I, because I had a, uh, a viewer ask me, do you put, do you cut, do you seal it with dull coat or not? And I don't, but I'm going to try it just to see what effect that this dull coat has on this. Now, I did another model, but the model was black and you couldn't really tell, but we'll be able to tell. That's kind of why I chose the yellow color here. Okay, we'll be doing that here in just a second. Got this in another room here. I don't want to go outside because it's like 30 degrees outside. This dual coat, I'm using testers. Dual coat. It is... It's... The, the short can, clear lacquer. On the end. I think I got it good. That's it. We're done. One of the good things about N-Scale, you don't have to spray too much. All right, I'll get back with you. Okay, guys. Now this, I put that, sprayed that dull coat on there. Now I could probably use another coat of it, but since I'm doing this inside a house, I don't want to do um, a whole lot of it. But, this is the side without putting matte finish or, or a matte medium down first, okay? On this side, I put the matte medium first. And really, to tell you the truth, I don't see much of a difference. Now, light rust and black, the light rust and black soot are the two colors. See, you can look here at the top. I don't really see any difference. I, I did. I did this side had matte finish put on it before I put the powders on. And to me, it didn't appear to uh, lighten up the powders at all. They appeared to uh, hoard their color. Now, I'm just going to try one thing here, real quick. Since we had, since we used a matte medium that was an acrylic, I want to I want to see if uh, I want to try to get this around these doors and stuff. Just on this one side, I'm trying it. I only let this dry for about 20 minutes. It's still kind of tacky. Matter of fact, some of it may be sticking because that dual coat is still a little wet. But there's a... See, I kind of hit it with that black when it was still... The, uh, the dual coat is still a little tacky. So that's one thing you could do. If your dual coat's still a little tacky in the corners because it would take longer for it to dry in the corners than that. And that, it looks like that powder is really sticking on these doors. I'm 
let's try and Oops, don't want to do that. That's how you tear up your ladders. Yeah. Now, all except for the, uh, I've got, that's really black now. Yeah, that's really black. Maybe more black than what I wanted. But. There's the other side where I put it around here. All right. Set that down. Okay. Well, that's our episode for tonight. That is using matte medium, and I coated it with dull coat and showed what happened. So, I will catch you guys later on another episode. Guys, have a good night. See you later.